Hello, historians! Okay, so today and tomorrow social studies assignment is a bit confusing. The only reason is because we haven't done something like this before. Let's keep it simple. You're going to be reading two textbook pages, and then you are going to be writing a poem to summarize what you read. There's just a few unique ways to do this. Uh, I wanted to first celebrate history for a moment by uh, being a teacher again and giving you some concepts. This seems to be uh, really a year, so far 2020, as soon as the new year hit, where people like the world is able to experience things together. And sometimes they're sad and sometimes they're glad things. So we had Kobe Bryant's passing to um, unite us and to teach us how to grieve together. We had the Oscars, a Korean film, Parasite, won. And it, all of a sudden, the American Movie Awards aren't just about American movies anymore. The world is welcome. And then, of course, we have coronavirus where nearly every land is affected by this in some way. And so I just think that's really powerful. Since we live in a world with so many borders, we can uh, tend to ourselves a lot. And right now, uh, we live in neighborhoods with a lot of borders where we uh, stay in our homes and are scared to see each other. So maybe times have changed. The last thing I want to suggest is um, it's really interesting um, how like immigrants are affected by this coronavirus. And I've said all year, history has not changed very much. So in our reading today, uh, the Italians uh, were separated from their families when they reported to New York's Ellis Island. Sound familiar? That is a reality for some immigrants at the Mexican border. Um, and then also thinking about, uh, based on some of the news that's going around with the coronavirus, Asian immigrants, specifically Chinese immigrants, are in danger because the virus was labeled as the China virus, and Asian immigrants are experiencing hate crimes again. And that's in terms of verbal abuse or even physical assault at times, even if there's not a lot of people out there. So this is the world we're living in. So this is what I did. I took our textbook. Oh, look at that. That's about Italian immigrants, page one and page two. And my phone isn't very good. It can't switch features. So here we are. Here's my computer. I copied those textbook pages onto this Google document. And what I would like you to do is highlight three strong phrases per heading. See right here, one strong phrase, two, three. There's two other headings you'll have to do it. Is from Italy to America, and then right here where it says starting a new life. Um, the reason I want you to do that is because when you do your found poem, uh, you will just be able to use those strong phrases to help you come up with stuff to write about. Let me take you to the last thing I want to show you. All right, I wrote an example of the first page of the textbook pages. So this is a little uh, trailer of what you're going to read today. I called my poem Island of Tears because that's what Italians called Ellis Island because they were separated from each other. Here's my poem, borrowed mostly from the textbook. Italians escape poverty. 1800s, the boot is overpopulated. Ha, huh, the boot, Italy looks like a boot. Farmers struggle, few factories. To the land of the free. 
Poor can only afford steerage. A deep deck in ship. Crowded compartments. Smells. Boring, but music made on mandolins. Alliteration right there. New York arrival. Ellis Island. Immigration station. Weary travelers. Medical inspection. Families separated. Ellis Island. The Island of Tears. After I read that first textbook page, I made that poem. You should read both textbook pages and write a poem about the second uh, page, which would be starting a new life. All righty. Talk to you again.